deal, man. Where's the balance? People don't want to be entertained. That's not true. People do want to be entertained. I'm going about this all wrong. See, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about what I'm going to say before I go into it. It's nonsense. What's the deal? People want to be entertained. People don't want to think about anything other than that. People want constant entertainment. So what do you got to do? If you want to get across to someone, you got to entertain them. It makes sense. I don't like it, but it makes sense. You know, I don't, I don't want to do it because I don't like pretense. And, and a lot of people, for a lot of people, God, for most people, entertainment is pretense. Entertainment is disassociation. It's when we decide that we don't want to deal with what's real, so we'll think about something fake. That's entertainment. But not necessarily. Sometimes you can entertain someone with something real. Like by telling a story about something that you experienced. We had a party last night. Uh, here in my house, in my complex. And it was a big, big party. A bunch of people came. Uh, big complex party. And it was amazing. I didn't drink. I haven't been drinking. I've been going out. The last four times I've went out, I haven't had anything to drink. Well, okay, I had wine last night, later. But for the majority of the party, I didn't drink. And I'm finding that it's just it's so much better when I don't drink. I can't believe it. I, I never really, I mean, in college I didn't drink. I didn't start drinking until I was 23. And it's so hard to communicate when you drink. It's like impossible when you get drunk. You can't, you can't pay attention. You can't think. Your mind shuts down. Give it up. I gave it up, man. I, I, I had some amazing conversations. Met some amazing people and it's real and it's not fake. People aren't fake. People, people, people either clam up or they drink and they don't communicate. I'm not saying all people do that, but that's, that's what a lot of, that happens to a lot of people when they go out. This is, this is not going anywhere, this stupid video. I'm so frustrated, I can't explain it. My girlfriend thinks I have post-traumatic stress disorder. She went crazy like six months ago. She had like a, a, like a psychotic breakdown really just the depths of depression and I decided you know what I can get out of this relationship again we've been together about eight years and I thought I can get out I can break up I can run I can leave I want to get out of this and I'm in pain or I can stay and I decided I'm gonna stay so I stayed and I, and I went crazy and she said that she thinks maybe it's post-traumatic stress disorder it's interesting it's just a label but at the same time it was intense, and now I'm I'm just I'm just f fucking crazy. But this is just one side of me. This is the intense side. The the other thing is like I I, I like to listen. You, you can't listen with a webcam, but dude, I am gonna kill these flies in my apartment. Okay, that's all for now.